In Affinity Photo, you can now create QR codes. You want to create a QR code pointing to a particular file, maybe on the web, or maybe on your machine. Also, Google Drive, etc. Well, key thing is, let's just remove that. Let's just get rid of that. Just go here to Rectangle Tool. Beneath that is QR code. So right down the bottom, QR code. Then click and drag. Along the top, you'll notice you've got Earl, and obviously the default is affinity.serif.com. You can change that. You can always just click here and then go here, make certain you use the Earl, and then you can put something else. Obviously for me, maybe like graphicextras.com. If you do that, let's just put www.graphicextras.com and then you can click OK, but also you can go here, visit Target Earl. So just click there and that will bring up, of course, my Safari and you can see the website appear there. However, what you can also do is you can go up here and instead of using that, just click again, brings up the Earl again. You can always simply select that, delete it, Make sure it's all empty. And you can always put file colon slash 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 forward slash that is three of them, and then put a location on your machine. It'd be something like users. So you could put like users slash x y z whatever whatever your name is, and then obviously the location maybe like downloads and the file name. It does need the full file name. So go and look for blah, 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 dot JPEG or dot, dot, you know, dot TIFF or something like that. Once you've got that, again, you will still be, be able to display it by clicking here. I've added one, a dot 85 dot JPEG. It's pointing to a particular file on my machine. To display it, simply go here, visit Target Earl. So click there and then this will appear. You can see the file opened within that QR code. this of interest any questions please let me know in the comments below a like or dislike always appreciated bye